guys welcome back to another video this is the football connector i'm your Sam, and we are back again with another one liverpool just swallowed leicester by three goals to nil under the lights at the home ground of leicester city in a game that was expected to be the scariest game of the season for liverpool in their top four chase you know what we are not supposed to be believing into this thing but you know as time keeps going and going Things are starting to to make up and actually show up maybe the direction of where this season or this season will be going for Liverpool. Okay, so now what it means is that Liverpool are only left with two games, which is Aston Villa at Enfield and Southampton, the final game. While they are dealing with Manchester United, who are on top of them by one point, which still has to play Brighton, Chelsea and Wolves in Fulham, sorry. So what is expected for Liverpool to have any chance of top four? They expect either Manchester United to drop points in either Brighton or maybe Fulham, to be to be honest with you. But yeah, I think Brighton is the is the game. The Bournemouth is the game. Same as Leeds, who's left with Brighton, Leicester and Chelsea. And we know what Brighton has been doing. So you could be hopeful of that one. So what Liverpool are doing here, they're just on a hunt. They are believing that the top four is one point away from both Newcastle and Manchester United. That's not a bad thing for a team that was not even expected to be near even the Europa positions. Klopp's boys have been winning games after games. Now we can talk about seven in a bounce in a row winning games. And to make even matters interesting, they now have almost three or four games keeping clean sheets. So it means that they are not allowing any teams to score against them. Which moves the, the clean sheets of Alisson to 14 games. That just tells you how much this team looks like they are really now starting to focus. So what, what are we expecting from Klopp's boys? Okay, today's game was interesting. None of the strikers scored. Yeah, Darwin Nunes. Did not even play maybe as an injury because i think he was alongside roberto Firmino. maybe there's an injury called the gagpo he was doing everything that he has been doing and i felt like he was dropping a little bit deep today it still feels like he's playing from the midfield coming out the same role that roberto Firmino has always been doing but it seems like it's it's a it's a hybrid of a, <laughs> of a striker if you know what i mean wow Curtis jones while also Luis Diaz doing the runs that he does from the left, while Salah also doing the same thing on the right. The interesting thing was this, the amount of pressure that the defense of Leicester were putting on more Salah, Cody Gagpo and the Luis Diaz and forgetting that they are also midfielders who can also finish because now we have a Curtis Jones who actually takes advantages of the chances that are created in front of him and that's where the girls actually came from. But the interesting one for me was the second goal and the three assists that Mo Salah had. He even assisted from a spot kick, a free kick, which Trent Alexander, I know, the kicked one of the best killers out there. He has been doing wonders in this new hybrid position of his, which he has been playing. I don't know where this is going to go, but one thing I know is that the boys are on a hunt. Any of the teams above us that sleep up, we are finishing in top four. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know what you think about today's game. Who impressed you the most? I would say Curtis Jones because from a player who people was doubting, he came back and showed that he's still classy. Anyway, I'm out. Click the like button, subscribe to the connect. Let's see how the hunt ends. Congratulations, LFC. And I'm really worried for Leicester because relegation is very close. We are out.